Um, guys, fun fact, he actually missed the title when we was in convention. We had a personal conversation, and I told him, look, you're going to knock out ESD. Not only did he knock out ESD, but he came back from convention and went straight to VP. And Mr. Curlin's Cassius, we made a pact that we're going to bust our behind and just work, just grind, just keep our head down. And I just love to see what these gentlemen came back and did. Um, Bertrand, congratulations, man, and thank you for having me on this training. Guys, I'm, I get the utmost pleasure of sharing with you guys exactly what I did last month uh, when I did actually report or recruited 22 direct agents um, in my organization by literally by sharing with you guys, you know, what I'm about to share with um, sponsored ads on social media, okay? So once and for all, I'm fired up, I'm excited. I hope you guys got your notebooks and pen because I got my notebook and pen. You know, but before we even go into that, man, I just want to go ahead and just let you guys know something. A lot of people, um, people like me, people like Bruce, people like Curlins, people like Josty, all the top leaders, and you guys see us and you say, well, it's easy for you guys to do, right? Because you guys are top producers. So everybody tell you guys, yes, God, that they can't hear me. Can you guys hear me? Somebody let me know. Bertrand, can you hear me? Okay, thank I can't you, hear everybody. Sir. Hey, the person that can't hear me, the person that can't hear me, listen, we got to get the internet fixed, all right? I apologize. But, you know, just want to go ahead and say, man, you know, a lot of people see us producing, and the first thing they said is easy for you guys to do. You know, you guys, you know, you have the, the clientele, or you guys have the, for those of you guys that don't know me, you know, two years ago, we got started in this business. I was hit in what's called the NFL, the no friends left. If you ever fell into that category, if you can relate to me, just go ahead and type one in the chat. If you ever did a previous business and then you actually brought this information to someone else and they said, nah, man, you're doing those things again with those individual guys. You know what I mean? So based on happening, man, we made a list of 215 names. And guys, nobody was signing up. But I want to thank my man, Rochester, for sharing with me the online if it wasn't for him to be honest guys i wouldn't know where i would be at right now because i didn't have the context to actually reach out to people to get them started in this business so i'm going to share some information with you guys that i know for a fact if you implement it you can definitely grow your business at a rapid pace all right but before we go into that just keep on going Going along the lines, like here's a uh, regional sales director with the company, and my mentor, Mr. Bruce Lee Rochester, um, sat me down and shared with me something that definitely um makes sense. You know what I mean? You can reach a lot more people on social media than you can reach within your phone. Can we agree to that? You know what I'm saying? See, my phone book has 30 texts in it. My social media, my Instagram, have over 3,000 people on it, or should I say, 4,000 people on it? My, uh, my Facebook have like almost 4,000 people on it. So that's a lot of different people I could reach. And here, here's a powerful part. When you tag people on um, Facebook, imagine if five of your friends had 5,000 friends max. Do you guys understand that if I tag five of those individuals, that's potentially 25,000 people that just saw my post? That was free. I'm going to let Mr. Bruce Lee Rochester go over that part when he's done. Right, but let me on, let explain to you guys. So we got started. We started using this social media. He put me on the game. He showed me everything. And guys, without further ado, you know, within a month and 23 days, we was able to not only get to um, promote it, but we was able to get to sales director. Right, and I was excited. I started going to work with an attitude. I'm not sure about you guys, but I was fired up. I had all the attitude. I wanted my boss. I wanted the HR department. I wanted somebody to come to me and told me to do something just so I could look at them and tell them, no, you go to hell. You do it yourself. Yeah. So basically, I didn't know how to quit. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to get fired. But then, you know, Bruce talked to me and he let me know the right, right, right way to go. You don't want to leave your job now. In the money, make sure that you actually have expenses bills for over six months before you actually leave your job. So cut, cut a cut of um Cut straight to the point. We was able to walk away from my job. 12:45 p.m. September 21st. I still remember it like it's yesterday. We was able to fire my boss, the HR department, department, the CEO, and the um shipping department. Everybody all at once. We fired everybody who was excited. Oh, uh, we started building this thing ever since. Two years down the line. Look, all we've been doing now is FBS, and we were live, guys. So without further ado, 
I don't want to waste you guys' time. I'm going to just jump right into my information right now. So you guys are going to follow along with me. Um, Bertrand, can you allow my um, cell phone to share the screen real quick, please? Bertrand, Bruce, any one of you guys? Just let me know. I'm just share my screen with my cell phone. Um, you're a co-host, so you should be able to share your screen. Okay, hold on one second. I think I'm after just you, Mark. Can you share your screen, um, Everton? Hold on one second. And, um, it says no. Part. Not only do your page look the part, guys, you want to make sure that when you're posting, you want to post three things. Remember, we get paid for customers and agents. All right. We don't get paid for nothing else. So there's a lot of people, they post a lot of random stuff on their page. I guess, you know, they like to bring their character in it. That's cool and all. But if you go ahead and post your on, the stuff on your page in regards to what you do, people is going to reach out to say, yo, like, what are you doing? People actually DM you with before you even DM them half the times. OK, so one thing that Bruce and them always teach me, they always tell you, listen, you want to post something like motivation. You want to post clients results and you definitely want to post something about yourself. Make sure that everybody that go on your page know who the page belong to. That's very important because if people don't know who the page belong to and your page look like a walking billboard, no one, everybody's just going to click off of your page. Right. I want to share with you guys something real quick. See, this is Mr. Bruce Lee Rochester, as we all already know, right? Mr. Golden Lambo, right? The man with the plan. As you guys can see, look at his strategy. Look at the stuff that he do on his page. You know what I'm saying? He posts content. He's letting nobody have to guess what he do. But here's the difference. A lot of people will see 20K followers from Bruce's page and immediately get intimidated. You'll immediately say, well, damn, I can't get no business because Bruce got all the business. You get what I'm saying? But when you look at it, it's other mentors that we also have that actually have a lot more followers, right? Like look at Mr. Alfred Nixon. You guys can see he has a, over a hundred K followers. I'm trying to show you guys something that you don't have to worry about somebody else's numbers, how somebody else is doing. If you go out there and you build your page the way you're supposed to, you will be able to get the leads and you'll be able to, um, you know, draw the audience and the attention to you as well. All right, guys. So, Another thing that's very important, when we're running ads, before we even go into the ads part, when we're running ads, guys, you want to understand that lead scarcity is one of the main reasons why people quit their business. They don't know how to get leads, which in a second, that's what we're going to show you how to do, right? But here's why it's powerful. Yeah. Somebody, hey, do me a favor, guys. Make sure that you mute your mic because there's other people on here that's trying to get this valid information, okay? So one thing that you want to understand, guys, when you're following up with people, not even following up with people, build your report. See, the reason why that's important, see, not everybody that you talk to immediately is going to sign up. Ask yourself a question, guys. Did you sign up? When can I see your call? Get your mom's keys for me. Mr. Bruce, can you mute everybody, please? Just mute everybody. So nobody is allowed to unmute themselves. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. It's like a glitch. <laughs> Just, hey, just do this. If you see the next person that talk, just call. Hey, Mr. Everton, you want to unmute yourself real quick? I think I did it. I mute everybody. All right. All right, you good. Mr. Everton, unmute yourself. Uh, hold on. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we hear you good now. All right. So I got to share my screen again. I'm sorry, guys. It's all good. Technology. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know if you guys can hear me and see me. Yeah, we're good. All right, perfect. So like I was mentioning before, right, you want to make sure that you're building that rapport, building that foundation with people. See, here's one thing, like I said before, when you first signed up, it probably took you six months. It probably took you a couple months. It probably took you a couple of weeks. Did you sign up right away? See, here's the thing. The reason why Leeds Carter City make people quit, we come across with what's called commission breath right and because you're not having enough leads you're gonna quit why because you feel like you talked to three people this week and they all need to sign up you need that 300 dollars really bad right but you can't do that guys you got to remember like i said you didn't sign up the first day when you got started yourself 
All right. So you want to make sure that you're out here, you know, doing the same exact thing, building rapport with people, because here's the thing. People's going to follow you. They're, they might not sign up right away. They might not even respond. They might leave you on scene. Right. And here's what's going to happen. You're going to build such a rapport, such credibility for yourself that your page is going to be growing. People are going to be respecting what you're doing. They're going to start reaching out to you by themselves. Some of you guys ex experience this, what I'm talking about. Every time you post something, it's that one or two people that keep reaching out to you. Hey, info. And you have to go in your DMs and say, man, listen, man, if you see this information for an, uh, another time, man, it's the same information I've been sharing. What's wrong with you? <laughs> like, nothing has changed. You know what I mean? So you want to make sure that these people, you know, they, they understand what's going on. And you got to keep building on that rapport with people. So in the long run, for example, Dr. Moisen on um, Curlin's Cassius. See, think about how Curlin's was able to get him. He came across on, a, on another point of value. That's another point that I want to lead on with you guys. You have to be creating value, guys. If you're not creating value for people, they're not going to want to do business with you. See, think about it. If somebody asks me about credit repair and I'm giving them value, not prices, value of what we can do for them, shout outs to my boy um, um, Bertrand for such a fire script, right? If you actually use a script the right way, I don't care if you're a new person or experienced vet. If you just follow the script toe to toe, you will be able to close a new deal on your own first date. All right? So make sure that you're actually doing what you got to do. Make sure that you're actually leading with value with people. Okay? So what you want to do, you want to make sure your page looks apart, right? You want to make sure that you, you have those three factors, motivating posts, results, and personal posts right? And you definitely want to start building rapport with people. And the last thing that we want to do, and I'll definitely share my screen at this point, um, going to the, some of the DM messages. Last thing that we want to do, we want to follow up. I followed up with a guy so good today, um, this guy. So he reached out to me, right? In regards to the information, he needs help, guys. Here's why running ads is very powerful, right? I went through the information. Good evening, King. My name is Everton Brian, da 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 And then I add her transcript. Do you know what's on your credit, right? So as you can see, we're going through the conversation. Okay, I understand. What's your credit score, right? See, me saying, okay, I understand, that's me. But I'm still using the script because the script automatically says, what's your credit score, right? And then one thing that Bertrand always tell us to do, make sure you're sending voice messages, right? So we went ahead and sent some voice messages. Now, this individual wanted the information. Boom, he's telling me everything. He's sending me screenshots and all that good stuff. I'm sending him back voice messages. Guys, as you can see, this is from Tuesday, right? Um, he responded back to me yesterday morning. He just wanted to be able to get his credit score. I responded all the way back because I was busy. So I sent him a personal message and I, I add this information that Bertrand um, have on there, right? So I said, so far, does that make sense? He said, yes, guys, we're just going through the script. I let him know when you enroll, you know, what's going to happen. I gave him all this information and then I sent him a voice message because I didn't hear from him. What did he say? Oh, I'm sorry. But yes, I'm still interested. I'm downloading the app now. Went ahead and gave him the fee. He said he just downloaded the app. Yes, I want to enroll. Boom. Cut a long story short, guys. We was able to get him enrolled into the program. He got started immediately. So I just want to show with you guys, man, what's going on, what you have to actually go through to talk to these people. Sorry about that. Talk to these people in the build up rapport with individuals. You know what I mean? Because you're definitely going to be able to get results as you build. All right, guys? If this is making any sense to some of you guys, go ahead and give me some fire emoji in the chat so I can know who's actually um, getting some value here, okay? <clears throat> now, the last thing I want to say to you guys, like I said before, you want to make sure that you're posting content, man, that deals with the value of what you do. You don't want to just be posting all types of random things. Like, guys, we had a webinar tonight. I post this video. It's just to basically show people how you can earn extra income using social media, right? We're posting different things. Did you know that repossession can be removed from your credit reports? See, we're teaching people or showing people and giving them information that we can actually help them out. Okay, guys? So now... I know a lot of people sitting there saying, Everton, please get to the ads. So we're going to go ahead and get to the ads because I need to save some time for my mentor to come on here and crush trial runs. All right, guys? So let's just go straight to it. There's two different ways that you can actually post your ads. All right? You could go straight from here, right? And you could add an ad directly from, um, you know, your post. You can make a post for yourself, uh, power of credit. You could do it this way. You could post it on your page. You know what I mean? And 
Bruce always said less is more. So you don't want to really write too much on your um, ad. You just want to go ahead and post it. And then when you post it, you're going to be able to go ahead and um, let's just use this one real quick. You're going to go ahead and run it as an ad, right? So I'll just do it just like that, for example. Just for example, sake, right? So we're running it just like that. And then we're going to go here right at the bottom. It says promote. Okay, guys. So once you hit promote, you're going to go ahead. You could do profile. You could do website. You could do direct messages. But I prefer you guys to do DMs because what you want to get all those leads into your DMs so that you could go ahead and answer to them, right? So you're going to go ahead and hit DMs, hit next, and you're going to create your, um, your subcategory, right? So one thing that I know that Boost just taught me the other day was now they have this thing called special requirements. See, if you don't use special requirements, sometimes what happens is your ads will get approved, but then while it's running, it will actually get terminated and it would actually stop. So you want to make sure that you hit special requirements, right? In this case, I'm doing credit, right? And then it automatically actually broadens out and reach out to, you know, um, what you call it, of my choice. So I click clients right here. And my, my, um, my demographic is already made. So let's show you guys how the demographic goes. So I could go ahead and hit um, this right quick. So as you guys can see, you want to make sure that you're reaching out to people with the information that you need. People that need like credit union, bad credit. You know what I'm saying? Tax preparers, car salesmen, people that deals with credit realtors and all that good stuff so you can come up with your own interest i advise you guys go with at least three to five interests okay don't go with any more over that now my personal age and gender i usually do 25 to 50. make sense and then i do man and woman because at the end of the day everybody got bad credit right then i hit done now once i hit done you know i make sure that this location says over the united states i want to make sure that i can reach everybody that got bad credit you get what I'm saying? Now I'm going to go ahead and hit special requirements, credit, right? Boom. My audience has been set, um, picked already. Then I just go simply right here. And now this is one of the most important thing, guys. It's all about how much do you want to run per day, right? The more money you make, this is how we want to look at it. We want to feed Instagram's greed. Once you feed Instagram greed, right, you're going to be able to get so much leads. But here's the thing. You have to make sure that you're paying attention to what you're actually doing because if you don't, your money will run up, right? So I'm going to give you a good example. Let's say we do $25 a day for seven days, right? So that's going to be about $175 for um, over a seven-day span. As you guys can see, you're going to reach anywhere between 29,000 to 77,000 people to um, actually market to, okay? Then you're going to go ahead and hit next. So guys, just let you know that's $25 a day. But as I said before, you can actually change that. You know what I mean? Now, here's the thing. Create the promotion. Now we're going to wait on Instagram to tell us, hey, your, um, your ad has been approved or not. Now, here's one of the most effective ways that I've been doing it. I've been adding to my stories. Guys, this is so powerful. So what we do is we go here, we add to my stories, go to my folder, go ahead and do this, right? We have our post and then we're just gonna post the post. Boom. You post it to your um, Instagram. Now, once you post that post to your Instagram, you're just gonna wait for it to post and then you're gonna go right here to the little tool that says promote. You guys see it on my screen? You're gonna hit promote and then you're doing the same exact thing I just did. Bruce, you got something to say? Now nah, you good. Okay, okay, I thought you were saying something. I'm sorry. So, as you guys are going to see, somebody said they missed it. I got you. What part did you miss? What part did you miss, Rick? Okay, I got you. So, you're going to go right here. You're going to go into your stories, go to your last post or whichever post that you wanted to actually promote, right, on your stories. Now, you're going to hit the, the three little dots at the very bottom right, right, and you're going to hit Boom, that. As you guys are gonna see at the very bottom, it says promote. Do you see it now? Awesome. So once you hit promote, it's the same procedure, guys. You're gonna to go to your direct message. You wanna make this thing um, for public or for um, your direct message. Now, another thing that Bruce taught me with this is when you're running ads for like agents, you can definitely run through your um, profile. You know what I mean? Now, once you run through your profile, what's gonna end up happening, guys, is Here's, here, here's a go. You boost as, I missed that question. Hold on one second. 
boost as post on your feed, then share on story. Yes, you can do both. You can boost it as a post on your story and you can boost it as a post on your actual page. I'm just showing you guys the two different ways how you could boost any post. All right. So once you go here, the same exact procedure that you guys just see me do. Uh, this is for network marketers. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing, guys. Network marketers, you're gonna create your audience type. Once you create your audience type and your location, um, let's just say, okay, I got all these different locations set up. What if I wanna run this across the United States? I can do so. But I learned from Bruce that you wanna make sure that you're running these ads in areas that have um, events. Well, unfortunately right now, all our events are at home, right? So we could definitely run it anywhere you want to because you can get people to come on webinars so that they, they can learn. So you're going to be able to put the location of your choice wherever you want it to go to so that you can get your best leads. All right, guys? Then you're going to go from there. You already created um, how you want it, right? You hit done. Like I said before, once you go to done, you're going to hit next. And the same thing, your budget. How much do you want to get it to? Right, like I said before, the more you pay Instagram daily is the more they're gonna be greedy and they're gonna be tackling people's DMs with your information. Or should I say people's story with your information so that you could go ahead and um, you know, post this information or should I say reach out to them. All right, so once they start firing up, you're just gonna be able to say info, info, info or agent, agent, agent. And you're gonna be able to go into the inbox. You're gonna be able to go into having a conversation with them so that you can actually start building that rapport, getting that relationship. Guys, that was how I, you know, took time out and started expanding my business. 95% of my business was built from social media, complete strangers. I never know half of these people. I never met them. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. I could recruit more people in your state more than you're recruiting in your own state because I'm literally leveraging the power of social media. Guys, if that's making sense. I don't sense, think we can hear you, everything. Say that again. Can you hear me now, Bertrand? Okay, everybody else is saying that they hear me, bro. All right, so like I mentioned before, guys, if this making sense so far, if you're looking, if you're ready to go out there and kill it, go out there and crush it, go out there and recruit as many people as possible, because here's one thing I could tell you straight up, you're gonna get so much leads, right? The difference is, are you ready to actually I, are you ready to actually close business? Are you actually ready to dominate the market, be on top of these charts? Are you ready to kill it? Because if you're ready to kill it, listen, running these ads and getting these leads, listen, all you need to do is just learn how to actually get yourself out the way, run these, get these leads, get them in front of your mentor. That's it. Hey guys, we're having a lot of webinars that's going on. Maximize, it, maximize those webinars. The last thing I want to go ahead and say to you guys is this one thing. See, I leverage a lot of webinars. After I build all these relationships, get these different information with, I started doing a lot of webinars personally each and every single day. Now, why am I doing that? See, Bertrand know about that. Bruce know all about that. Curlings know about that. I see Mr. Jocelyn Caddison in here. They know about that because, see, you don't want to wait on the 8 p.m. webinar. Think about it, guys. We wake up, it's 8, 9 a.m. in the morning, are you going to wait all the way till 8 p.m. to expose somebody to the business? No, you want to make sure that you're putting them on a personal webinar, giving them this information. We have um, three-way tools or third-party tools. You can be able to use uh, one of your mentor's webinars. You can send it out to that individual so that they can see the information. You can get them on the um, three-way call with your mentor, close business. Guys, there's no excuses. There's no shortage of people. It's a lot of people, especially now. Now is when people is looking. So you want to make sure that you're definitely utilizing this social media um, tool and definitely running paid ads so you can go ahead and kill the game. All right. So Bertrand, that was my time. Um, I'm not sure if you have anything else that you want me to say, but man, I appreciate the opportunity to go ahead and teach our team some nuggets on what it is to actually kill the game. Thank you. Um, I got one question for you. Okay. So a lot of people say they get those leads. Uh, but I cannot close them. So what would you say that made the difference between you getting those leads and closing those leads? It's all about experience, man. At the end of the day, think about it. If you're brand new, here. if you're brand new, there's no way that you could just go out there, drop scripts, and if people ask you questions, you could close them. See, you got to understand that. And we're talking about in an agent side, right? So if you have agents, people that want to know more about the information, Guys, it's simple script. 
get the information, build a rapport with them. Once you build that rapport with them, now you're going to be able to get yourself out the way, get your mentor, get a Bertrand on the line, get a Curlins on the line, invite them to a webinar, invite them to some kind of th third party tool so that they can see the information. Once they see the information, boom, they're all in. What I did was I didn't wait until 8 p.m., 9 p.m. I was just doing my one o'clock webinar, my three o'clock webinar. I promote my own webinar, did my webinar, get them on it so that they can see, wow, this is everything. Okay, uh, I saw his page. Now I'm seeing him on a webinar. He's breaking down the information. So guess what? Now they're actually excited to say, yo, I'm ready to grow. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, good tips, man. I really love it, man. I really love it because a lot of people came back to me and say, hey, I'm using the scripts. Uh, but I'm not getting the results you, you are getting. So um, by what I, right. I got from what you said is because you actually get on the phone with those people. Uh, sometimes you do your own webinar and you close your own deals instead of, you know, being hiding behind the script and then just copy and paste, copy and paste, right? Right, absolutely. You want right, to cool. make sure that people know who you are, man. Get, get on the phone with people. Talk to people. They are people. Money comes from people. Build a relationship. Somebody asked me, what's the report? It's all it's a relationship. Build a relationship with people so that you could go ahead and, you know, um, get them on either a Zoom, like I said, get them on the phone on a three-way call with your mentor. Just get them on the phone with someone. Get yourself out the way. Let me give you a tip. When you're brand new, you don't have to know everything. All you have to do is be good at passing the baton. Promote your upline promote the hell out of them once you promote them oh man come on everybody's gonna want to meet who's bertrand who's curlin's cassius these guys are 24 years old killing the game six-figure earners or six-figure predict um position talk about your mentor make people have to want to meet those individuals that's it it's going down in the dms like Derek cook said man that's all guys all right, thank you, man. I appreciate you. We got Sasha that I want to ask you a question right here, right now. Uh, I'm Definitely. gonna put you right now, Sasha. You can go ahead and ask your question. Hey, everybody. Hey, so I just want to go ahead and say Everton is out here just, you know, wowing us all. You know, he like does magic in, in the DM. He has such a way with words. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> I just want to go. I even texted him because I'm just so desperate to know as well. I was like, well, if they're not going to listen to me in the participants chat, I'm going to text Everton directly. Um, so I want to go ahead and see, is it possible to, pos to see um, some actual like DMs that you've successfully had with people? Um, you know, I, even if it's as simple as just showing other people on the team how you invite people on a webinar you know, taking them from an advertisement to then getting their phone number or to then getting them on a webinar, like to, just to just see how that conversation goes. Cause I know there's a lot of us, um, that, you know, and right. no, matter, no matter how many times you say, you know, just be natural with people. Sometimes we mm -hmm. don't even know how to have a natural conversation. Right. So, <laughs> so just share a couple conversations that you might have on the top of your head through the DM that went good. And, you know, nah, definitely. So real, real quick, um, because I know we're cutting into Bruce's times, right? So I want to just share with you guys real quick. I learned this from Michael Burgos, right? He always said, listen, go straight to the point with people. So, so guys, you're not going to believe me. It got to the point where we ran so much ads or talked to so much people that we just literally started saying, hey, what's a good phone number to call you? We literally started just getting on the phone with people. It wasn't even much scripts no more. A lot of people keep reaching out to me and saying, hey, what's your script? I really don't have a script, guys. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Some people still don't believe me. It's not really a script. It's me. I'm selling me. Bruce always tell me this. I'm the, I'm, listen, I'm the best advertisement for me, and I'm the movie. I need to get you. It's not about FES. Once I get on the phone with people, guess what? Once I start talking to people, I'm letting them know straight up. So I'm going to show you something. Just real, real quick, guys, and get myself out the way. Right, so I saw Bruce, and, and majority of y'all, you got you guys got to understand when your mentors post stuff, take it too, man. It's, right, I seen Bruce did this today, and he was hitting, and then I seen a whole bunch of other people. And literally, I want to say about an hour before the webinar, I took it and I posted myself. And look, I was able to get 27 comments, 
And I'm going to show you guys exactly what it was. People just saying me, you know, info, all that good stuff. All right, my phone want to be whack. All right. Yeah, true. Okay. I'm just going to try this one more time. All right. So a lot of people saying me, me, me. What is going on? What's the cost? All that good stuff. I just kept on telling everybody, just like a trial run. So basically, I have my own self on a trial run. Check your inbox. And guys, this is, <laughs> this is seriously all I did. And we had eight people on the webinar. This is all that she said she didn't get to go on. So this is all I did. I'm gonna just show you real quick. I'm the one that sent the message. Good evening, Mika. I'm having a private webinar tonight that's gonna break down the um the is on the info for you at 8 p.m. sharp. Here's the link. Do you met to, to share it again? Do you met to share your screen to show that conversation? Yes, it didn't share. No, nah, it's not sharing right now. I got you, brother. I thought it shared. I got you, man. All right, so like I said before, here's the here's the post. That um, Mr. Rock. Background with trees. So I just use the background with trees, right? Bright colors appeal to people. I learned that from Bruce. Bruce, I keep calling your name. I'm sorry, dog. <laughs> but, you know, this is exactly what it is that we use, guys, right? So as you can see, we had 27 comments. Um, I just kept on just going straight to the DMs. I'm going to just show you guys just, just like I was doing. This young lady named Mika Lynn. Um, I had, I want to say about 16 people that actually commented. I didn't get back to everybody, but you know, Bruce is the man, right? I had um, eight people that actually jumped on the webinar out of those 16 people. All I said was simply, good evening, Mika. I'm having a private webinar tonight that's going to break down um, that info for you because they said info. They wanted to know the info, right? At 8 p.m. sharp. And anybody know this, this link right here? Bruce, you know this link. Here's the link for tonight's webinar. <laughs> That's it. I'm letting them listen. I don't have time to waste. I had an hour. Time was against me. I just wanted to get as much people as possible on this webinar. And that's all we did. I literally just did that, got them on the webinar, and that's all I was doing. I'm going to follow up with everybody once I'm done with the, um, this webinar training here so that I could even update you, Sasha, on how it went. You know what I mean? But we definitely had eight people that was on the webinar tonight that actually reached back out to me, um, whether through text message or... Um, uh, what you call it? Phone, phone number, All right? So, I mean, I hope the questions you may have. All right, man. All right, amazing, amazing. So we want to uh, wrap it up, and we're gonna bring the next trainer right now. Uh, thank you for jumping on. A lot of knowledge dropped right now. I just hope you guys actually take your notes and learning and go ahead and apply this knowledge okay you can have all the all the knowledge in the world but if you're not taking action you're not using the knowledge it doesn't worth anything you, if you have the knowledge not using it so you don't you don't what's the need of getting the knowledge right and this is what helped me actually in my business closing deals we're gonna bring on the next trainer uh the the batman of the industry uh mr gold lamborghini uh, senior vice president. We paved the way for many of us. Uh, man, this guy is just amazing, man. Just being around him, learning so much from him, you know, and stealing his creep as well. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring on board, I'm gonna bring on board right now. Uh, senior vice president, Mr. Gold Lamborghini. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, guys, sorry, a little distraction. Uh, Bruce Rochester, uh, killing the game. Just take over the call, sir. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm going to stand up for that one. Oh, man. I want to be giving some great knowledge, man. Straight, straight fire. I'm killing over there with that. All those goods. I remember that one time um, me and Everton was in a car, and I think he was running an ad. It was like $2 or $3 ads. And um, this man got like two customers running for $5 a day. So it don't matter whether you're running five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, depending on what your budget is. You know, listen, if if you can close, man, you can close. So give it back to Everton Bright Straight Fire Emojis. The chat's on fire. I want to thank you also, Bertrand, Vice President, for all of this the great nuggets together. We got 300 participants. Now I'm going to my favorite thing. It's called a trial run. Who's ready to get it? That information. I want you guys to put a one in the chat. If you guys are ready to learn how to get the trial runs running, how I was able to go from point A to point P and get so much exposure, man. I'm about to tell you, I'm gonna drop the emojis right now. Damn, you guys are dropping ones like crazy. All right, so um, I'm not gonna waste no time. I'm gonna just start sharing my screen with you guys right now. 
but I want to show you guys some stuff, man. Um, and, and, I, and I keep talking about this. I'm actually closing somebody as you guys are just talking to me. You know, I don't recruit people. I recruit through people. And, you know, many times you guys think I have to, oh, uh, he didn't sign up. You see, if you focus on the person that was in their network, you will get the person that you were trying to recruit, if that makes sense. So um, I even put up a post today. And the whole purpose of this post wasn't really to, let me get off this guy's page, hold on. Um, this right here, I'm all about looking for trial runs. I'm always looking to, and I'm gonna just show you guys a great example. Let me just log in just to show you guys real quick. All right. You know, diamonds are found deep. It's not found on the ground. It's not found, um, you know, just laying on the sidewalk. You got to dig deep to find a diamond. And you, many of you guys have diamonds on your friends list, diamonds in your contact list, diamonds on your Instagram, diamonds everywhere. But we don't know who these diamonds are. So I want to just show you how deep sometimes you got to dig just to get to your diamonds. So um, let me go here. So we got this guy right here, Elvis. Elvis was one of my first signups in the business. I mean, my wife was, but he was one of my top signups. And he's killing in the game. He's, his business is doing over a million dollars in sales. You know, and um, you know, Elvis was doing pretty good. And then my next person I recruited, I just said, listen, oh, my, I was just sharing him the vision. I was like, I got a friend of mine named Alfred. He's making like 5,000 a week, doing something to a credit. And he's like, I don't need no presentation. If you're doing it, I'm in it, right? So O'Keefe Rob was the second person, right, that enrolled. Then um, I told Dean Lawrence, and if you guys know Dean Lawrence, y'all better shout out to him. His business is doing over a million dollars in sales. Don't know why he ain't promoting the business, but I don't care. What I do know is we just keep moving from there, right? <laughs> and Odin, I met Mike, and Mike knew Odin. So I literally um, sponsored Mike, to, and I gave it to Odin because Odin needed to hit a title. And I said, well, since you guys have a relationship, um, I'm going to help Odin get his title because that's how I hit RSD at that time. So that's when Michael Burgos came into the business. So we went from Elvis, O'Keefe, Odin, and then Mike. That's four levels deep. You guys got that? Four levels deep. Some of you guys are trying to be like, ah, the first person I spoke to didn't sign up. It is not about the first person, who that person knows. Everybody knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. Trick Daddy said it. It might not be that person. See, Elvis led to O'Keefe, who was in the military. O'Keefe led to Odin, and Odin led to Mike Burgos, who turned senior vice president. You guys got that. Stop worrying about the person who's in front of you and look at the person who's ahead of you because that person could lead you to the, to the right person who's waiting like, hey, I'm thirsty, I'm in the back, I'm on aisle 71, I wanna tear this business up. But you're so worried about the person in front of you, it's not about them. Who do that person know? That's why I'm so big on the trial run because listen, who cares if that person ain't doing nothing? It doesn't matter, I gotta see your vice president four levels deep. And that person led to a Valeski Borowski, right? Who's, fight, who's the next levels deep? Who turned an EVP? So you guys have diamonds in the rug. See, Alfred Nixon said, listen, Bruce, when I gave you a phone call, your names was in the B list. B list. He said, I just gave you a call and see what you was about. And he invited me to meet Ashton Henry. And I signed up, but he didn't wait for me to build the business. He didn't wait for me to build the business. He was a VP. By the time I built the business, he was already a vice president. And then I started building my business. But I wanted to show you guys that real quickly to show you sometimes how many levels deep you got to go to find your diamond in the rough. So I'm going to go bring up these trial run um, slides real quick. Um, but the trial run is this, it's a really unique thing I've been doing. And, you know, I love doing the trial run because it allows me to just meet so much people. And, you know, I just never run out of leads, to be honest with you. Um, I just have more leads than I have time. And it, 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 it just, 
it's kind of like, you know, rather than focusing on two seeds, a farmer can't plant two seeds and eat for a lifetime. He has to plant many seeds. You got to have more leaves in time. I mean, how many times have you went to a Foot Locker, walked in the Foot Locker and the guy says, hey, how can I help you? And then you say, I'm just looking. Right? Does the guy says, all right, we're not going to make any business because I'm just, I'm just looking. You're a prospect just like everybody else. You didn't buy when you came in. You told him you were just looking. So how many times have people came in your inbox and they were just looking? Maybe they didn't sign up on the first exposure. It's not about that. You got to have so much leads. You're going to have to go through the, I'm just looking. You're going to have to go through, now I'm not interested. You got to have a pipeline of leads where you play the numbers game. And when the number's in your favor, I'm telling you, whether you lack in skill, you make up in numbers. So we're going to go, what is in a trial? And I, I talked about this earlier. The average Facebook person has about 338 friends. Most of you guys have over 1,000 or 1,500 followers. You don't go through for your friends, right? You don't go through your friend. You go through your friends. So everybody knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. The trial run is to see if the person is right for the business, if the business is right for them to lead you to potential prospects. Sometimes people are going to disqualify themselves. Why? Because even, how many times have we told someone to do something and they weren't coachable? Or they gave you a hard time and by the time they enroll, they're giving you a hard time. I'm telling you, when someone show their colors in the beginning, I'm telling you, if they give you a hard time in the beginning, they're going to give you a hard time when they start. If they already skip, listen, I'm telling you, I've been doing this for 10 years in this industry. I, I'm just used to it by now. Don't get attached to the outcome. Never make your goals on results. Make your goals on activities. See, before I used to always try to make my goals on, I need to have two signups. I need to do this. I need to do that. I stopped doing that bullshit. Like, listen, listen this is what I do. I look at how much activity I'm going to do. I'm activity driven. I look at how many people did I talk to? How many people did I reach out to? How many, see, these are things I can control. I don't worry about shit I can't control. I can't control if somebody signed up, but I can control how many people I spoke to. I can control how many people I showed the video to. I can not control how many people I went through my contacts to. I can't, see, these are things I can control. When you start worrying about things you can't control, you will be out of control. You'll create stress, you'll lead yourself to depression, you'll get disappointed, and you'll say, you know what, I'm in phase three, man, man I'm in phase four, I'm out the business. I'm out the business. We don't want that. Start focus on things you can control, right? And um, I'm just gonna just fast forward. Like, so these are things you wanna create on your, on your memory jargon. If, if you don't remember like who your parents are, <laughs> write that on your list. Maybe these are some of the people you want to reach out to say, hey, listen, mom, you know, I just got started with this business and I'm super excited about it. But, you know, before I make any drastic decisions, I would love for you to take a look at it because I would love your opinion. Or we got this, we call the practice presentations where you'd be like, listen, I'm really close on hitting my next promotion in my company. And um, for me to get promoted, I need to practice my presentation, but I need someone to practice on. Would it be okay if I practice on you just to make sure by the time I'm ready for my presentation, I got this thing down pat? Start practicing on people. Practice on your parents. Practice on your grandparents. Practice on your brother. Practice on your sister. Practice on your uncle. Practice on your best friend. I'm telling you, by the time you're done practicing on them, you're going to better your presentation skills. But not only that, they might say, wait a minute, I might be interested in fixing my credit. I might not want to be part of this. Now, you're not trying to sell them on it. And please don't go say, hey, would you, you know, I need you to join. Just practice on them. If they come to you and say, hey, I want to do it, then you got one of your first recruits as a customer. You got someone as, a, as an agent, right? Practice on your uncles, cousins, in-laws, right? You have accountants. Now you have other people in your network say, hey, listen, would it be okay if you shared my flyer on your page, give them the wording that they can put up. And I'm telling you, once they start putting it up for you, they can lead you to so much people. Stop trying to recruit them and recruit through them. Does that make sense, somebody, right? So um, for, the, for the 10 years I've been in the industry, I've, I've heard all the objections, like I gotta think about it. 
I have to talk to my spouse. I don't have the money. I need to do more research. When I come back from traveling, I can do it when I get paid. Listen, I don't give a damn about what, what kind of objection you got going on because I don't really care if you join or not. To be honest with you, the only thing I care about is who do you know? Do you know a tax preparer? Do you know a go-getter? Do you know somebody who's looking for more money? Do you know somebody that's looking for more time? Do you know somebody who's a single parent? I want to know who do you know? So whatever objection that is given to me or given to you, you want to always come back with, well, that's fine. You know, let's do this in the meantime. Let's start promoting your business before you launch your business, before you join the business. So by the time you launch your business, you already have a pipeline of leads. So psychologically, when you get someone to start promoting before Friday, it's going to increase their belief level. It's going to create sense of urgency because now let's watch this. I'm telling you, I've had so many people that say, oh, I don't have the money and they start promoting. And then I was about to sign up one of their friends and they become Chris Angel all of a sudden and the money magically appears in their bank account or magically appears in their bank account. Oh, I thought you said you were broke. I thought you said you didn't have the money. But because they didn't want to miss out on their cousin or their aunt or a good friend of them or their pastor that they knew that was going to blow the business up, they cr it created a sense of urgency. See, this is why I don't really focus on that person. I focus on, damn, if I can get that person to post, ooh, I can get to that to their network. I'm always like, don't worry about the money. Don't worry about Friday. Let's just start promoting now, right? And you can do this online. You can do it offline. It don't matter how you do it. Just do it. I had people who were skeptical say, oh, yeah, I'm going to think about it. I said, well, you know what? I'm going to give you something to post, and let's just see if we get some people interested. Her post started banging. What do I say to all these people? We got to get you in. I started talking to them for her. Started doing some calls. We closed some customers, but she didn't have a website. I said, well, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to sign them up? Or do you want to get in so we can get your first? And guys, even if they don't want to get in, who cares? You just got three people you would have never got if they never would have posted it. Stop trying to worry about, well, I need him to sign up. No, you don't. You needed him to post so you could have got those leads. And every person you talk to, whether they're a customer or an agent, you need to get to their network. So when I talk to customers, I'm like, well, listen, um, we're doing also a YFL program where we're raising money from ages 8 to 18 on, to educate kids on personal finance. And the only way we can help more of the youth is by sharing this program to more people. If I gave you a flyer that you couldn't put on your post, would it be okay if I did send you a flyer, would you be able to share this on your post? They'd be like, yeah. I'm like, listen, we're just trying to help more kids. We're just trying to help more people. Listen, if I would you, that's the, that's the verbiage you want to use. If I gave you a discount, would you be able to share a post on your page and tag 50 of your friends? If I would you, that's my favorite clothes. And that's how I get so much exposure. I, I talk to so much customers, online, offline. So trial runs could be done so many ways. You can tell people to put up a post, tell them to tag 40 or 50 of their friends. This is the formula. The formula is they have to tag 50 people to the post. And the post must be public. Must be public. Must be public. I'm going to say it again. 95% of my recruits didn't come from paid advertising. It didn't come from sponsored ads. And it never came from shout outs. All I had was a Facebook and I had people to put up a post on their page and tag their friends. When I spoke to their friends, I had them do the same damn thing. That was it. Like, you don't, it don't cost money to get someone to post on your page. If someone said they're going to get paid Friday, it don't cost anything for them to just put up on their page. Right? So this is one of the posts that you can have. I mean, if you're on this webinar, this should be one of your first posts. Ask all your Facebook friends, hey, I need your help. With your permission, I need, I would love for you to make a post on your page. It's about my credit restoration business. This will help me reach my goal. Some of you might not be interested and that's fine. I'm trying to reach as many people as possible with my services, helping families and households nationwide. If you're willing to assist me with making this post, please comment yes. All the people who say yes, give them a post, right? And there's many other posts I can share with you that you can use, right? Verbiages and wording. 
One of my favorite one is the medical collection can be deleted from your credit history because of the it's a violation of the HIPAA laws. That's one of my favorite posts. I give them that. I tell them to tag 50 other friends and I start reaching out to them um, about the credit repair. And I say, hey, you know, I'm actually mutually friends with Jessica. We saw that you wanted more information on improving your credit score. Is that correct? Guys, always ask a question, right? Is that correct? Yes. Boom. Leads me into, okay, great. What's your credit score? And you just go on into that, right? So there's different types of posts that you can use. Be creative and follow what all the top leaders are doing. If you see someone on the top charts, follow them and see what they're posting on their social media. That's, that's all I do. I just follow the, the top people and copy what they're doing. Um, you also want to write on your posts. So when you're doing, when you put someone on a, when you're putting on a trial run or you're actually putting up a post on your page, always say check your inbox because the more you write on that post, the more it stays on the newsfeed. Facebook has an algorithm where it looks to see if this post is important. So if the first thing you want to do is when you post it or you have someone else on a trial run, you got to comment on their post first, right? Say info because usually once you comment, all their friends are going to comment behind it. That's how it, the post starts. Don't just wait for their, their friends to post. No, you go on the post, you comment, and watch their friends start to comment. They're going to be like, oh, my God, all these people are interested. Then you want to send out a private message. Hey, you know, thanks for inquiring about, you know, improving your credit. And we have different scripts. We'll go into that later. Um, when the quarantine stuff runs over, these are different ways of also doing trial runs offline. If people I spoke to, they didn't have the money. I launched them offline. I said, this was the wording that we used. And I had him text all his friends in his, in his contacts. And I said, listen, we're going to do a get together at your house. I need you to use this script and let's see who shows up. He sent it out to like 23 people. All these people that you see in the room showed up. I did the presentation. He hit field trainer just like that. Then those three people who we got started, we did the same thing. They came to the house. And they signed up. They hit field trainer. Guys, I don't make this up. This is keep it stupid simple, right? And for those, you know, who don't have Facebook, you know, or don't have Instagram, I mean, guys, I'm showing you offline ways. So these are people that's going to give you the excuse of, you know, I'm interested, but I want to do research. Uh, I'm going to do it next Friday and then the Friday after next. And it's like three Fridays and they still, who knows, smoking. I don't know. Right? And then you got people who say they're interested, still give you the Friday, but you got a tap root. So what I do is I talk to so much people. So let's just say it's a four week cycle. I spend my first two weeks cramming how many people I speak to or exposing to. I'm not trying to sign them up. I'm just trying to get them exposed. My first two weeks. The last two weeks, I'm using that as my follow up. So I'm depending on who I leverage that it's going to get in. I would say, um, I got a guy named Terrence. He's looking to get in and he has a huge network of whatever his Facebook following is. If his Facebook following is 2000, is a network of 2000 people. He's looking to kill this business. His name is Brian. And I know I spoke to you first time, but if you can get in before Brian, I can potentially put him onto you. So now that's going to create a sense of urgency for Tom to get in because he doesn't want to miss out on Brian. So now Tom gets in, and then I go back to Bev. Bev, remember when you told me that you were thinking about it, or maybe you told me Friday? Well, listen, I just spoke to a guy named Tom. Tom may let me to a guy named Brian, and I leverage people that it's going to blow this business up. And I go back to Bev, and I say, listen, what are you trying to do? And I already have it in, in copper. I think I have it in my notes. But these are just things that I use. It's called sense of urgency. Um, let me see if it's in my follow-up script. Uh, I have all these name scripts, uh, but follow up. Uh, okay, yeah. so it says, hey, John, I'm about to put someone that has a huge network of 5,000 people. I don't know what you're trying to do, but let me know when you're trying to start before he does, because I could potentially put him onto you. You have to get started before Saturday 3 a.m. Trust me, this will be huge for me for you. Let me know. And I sent this out to a, even a friend of mine named King Anthony. He used it. He signed up three agents just using that. So what we do is we just leverage 
one person who's getting in and we go back to all the people who are on the fence thinking about it. And I'm like, listen, you might want to get in before this person get in because if you do, I could potentially put that person under you and you'll benefit from all the volume they do. And nobody wants to miss out on anything. So I um, also have another trial run post that's going on right now. Like I said, I'm going to get to all these people. She's already asking me how much it's going to cost. I'll send her a call shortly. <laughs> and usually for all the people, I'm just going to let them know. Um, here's the trial run post. I got quite a few people. So all I'm going to do is I'm not trying to get them in. I just want these 35 people or 33 people to make a post on their page, leverage their network. And then once they start posting, my next step is phase one. Right, phase one is just getting them to promote something, post something. I might get on the on the on the phone, build a little rapport, build a little relationship. Because remember, this is cold. This is not warm market. Warm market is different. They have a relationship with you. When it's cold and someone doesn't know you like that, you got to build a relationship with them. You actually have to get on the phone, talk to them, get to know them, see what they're about, see why they're trying to start a business, talk about the corona, talk about something, let them talk. Do not do all the talking. Get on the phone with an upline, leverage your upline and his expertise and build that relationship. And I'm telling you, after the relationship is built, you then get him on a trial. Then once he's on a trial and that creates the belief, then you get him to the presentation. I don't get people to the presentation first. I get them to the presentation last. Because by the time, let me tell you the reason why. Say I get you to the presentation first and you're not interested. Now I can't get you to post. But watch it. Now what if I can get you to post first then the presentation. Then even if you're not interested or not, it doesn't matter because you just led me to people that I would have never met if you would have never made that post. Does that make sense? You see, that's, there's a method to my madness. Then every person who says agent, right? I say, well, listen, you know, we, no one's allowed to join our business or join our team until they go through a training process. And the training process will be then making a post, and then getting to the presentation. That's the training, right? If they can't do simple steps, you don't deserve the presentation. If you can't make a post, if you can't lead me to people, why do you deserve the presentation? I need to know that this is for you and you're, you're for us. I, let's, let's see if you can lead me to somebody. If you can't lead me to somebody, you don't deserve the presentation. You got to work for the presentation, right? So, you know, there's always a method to my madness because I'm psychologically looking to get to the person's network to see who they know. And then if you see value, because you're going to have all these people on your post, then you're going to want to get started. So let me answer some questions with you real quick. Um, some people have seen expert scripts, um, slides. What if I, if people do not tag the 50 people? Um, there we go. That, that, that's not, not, and I tell them, I say, Hey, you didn't tag 50 people. The reason why you tag 50 people, because Facebook goes on the algorithm, each person you tag, they're going to be notified that they've been tagged to a post. If you don't tag them, then they won't be notified. And, won't, and maybe if that person doesn't have a big following, only less than 3% of their following will see that post. So I'm trying to get as many people to see that post as possible. That's why I'm telling them to tag them because I don't know if they're following, we'll even see the post. So I'm like, I, I, to increase my odds, I want you to tag people, if that makes sense. Um, but every agent I talk to, I say, well, listen, um, it costs no money to put something up. I don't want you to invest anything if this is not even, if this doesn't work for you. I wanna make sure that this worked for you and you work for us. And let's see where this goes from here. See, I'm totally harmless with trying to force people to do anything. I'm like, let's just try it out. Let's just try it out. It costs nothing to post anything, right? How do I keep up with all these trial runs? I don't. That's why I only do a few of them, right? My goal is to get a few leads. See, you could only work with three to five people, right? Once you work with three to five people, you work through those people's networks and their network and their network. You, stop, you shut down your recruiting because now you're recruiting through their network and their network is going to lead you to other people and that's how they get promoted to field trainer. 
senior field trainer, sales director. And it's going to get to a point where you start talking to so many people, they're going to be like, wait a minute. I know you don't remember me, but we spoke a month ago. We spoke two months ago. I'm ready to sign up. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Um, I can show you some of the conversations from my inbox. Now, I'm going to just show you some conversations. Um, this person said they couldn't cancel with Lexington. Well, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I guess this person was with Lexington Law. They're ready to cancel. Boom, that's one person. Then um, I'm also going to show you another conversation that I had with, because um, I know you guys probably want to see conversations. Um, this person just kind of just said he was ready to get started. I don't know if you've been following me for a while. All right, let's try, let's try Rashida. So one of my favorite things is I like to just in the morning is the best time for recruiting. So you get up early in the morning and just wish people good morning, um, blesses, bless them. And um, one of my favorite things in recruiting is always asking people and compliment, leading with a compliment and then asking them what they do. So one of my favorite questions I say is I see you're a businesswoman. And whether they, I, like this is how I prospect if you're going to prospect, I always compliment and say, hey, I see you, you're a business building. And the, the question that I got this from this training is ask people what they do. Do not give something unless they ask you what, basically don't tell people what you do unless they ask you what you do. So I just said, what do you do? She said, hello. And she said she has a 12 year old tax firm. She's an interday trader. She travels, she's a teacher, motivational speaker. So there's ways guys you can prospect people just by, and I'm gonna show you guys that later. Um, and then I compliment, I said, that's amazing that, you know, there's not too many women that's a go-getter like you, where you're always an entrepreneur by heart. I mean, I wasn't a script here. I was just going off of how I really felt. Um, she said, since she was 18, I never went into what I did. I was just all about what she do. She said, interesting, how long have you been trading for? And then we started talking about that. I think she butt, butt dialed me. <laughs> then I said, I see you also do taxes. And then I said, really, we should talk business. She also used to do Mary Kay. Whoa, look at this. I didn't know she did that in network marketing. Um, I said, ha ha. She said she would love to chat. She knows who I am. I guess she's been following me. Okay, okay. And then she gave me the number and boom, boom, boom. See, like that? You guys act like you can't have a normal conversation. Like you, all of a sudden, you, since you joined the business, you forgot how to have a conversation with people. Like your brain just became numb to how to have a conversation. It starts with, hello, hi, good morning, good afternoon, how you doing? Well, hi, well it's, you look sharp, compliment people. Like, you guys just baffle me sometimes. Like, you just become, all of a sudden, just, you lose your brain cells on how, how to have a conversation. Be normal. It's not just, hey, watch this video, let me know. You, like, what the fuck? <laughs> you guys just, like, this is just crazy to me. Just have a normal conversation. That's it, I know my conversation. And if she wasn't interested, who cares? I met a new friend. People do business with people they like. I just compliment people. Sometimes people don't get compliments. And I wasn't trying to holler at her. I really just said, you know, you, you look sharp. Do that with 100 people a day, compliment them, tell them they look sharp, ask them what they do. And when they ask you what you do, then you can say, well, you know how most people live paycheck to paycheck? What I do is I show them how to make an extra paycheck. They're going to say, how? They might say, oh, or you can say, you know how most people have bad credit? What I do is I show people how to have a, better, a 700 or better credit score. They're going to say, how? And I think I might have one more conversation. I think I have one in here. And then we're done because I'm on 5%. But just be normal. You don't have to do paid ads to have a normal conversation. <laughs> just compliment people. Hey, you look sharp. What do you do? You know? And that's what I do all day. Y'all probably like, what the hell does Bruce do all day? I have conversations. I compliment people. I ask them good afternoon. How are you, how you doing with all this corona shit going around? I never ask, what is it that you do for a living? I don't know what they do. And they might ask, turn around and ask me what I do. Right? Um, but I'm just trying to find out. 
You guys have any questions in the meantime? I'm trying to have a, I'm trying to find one more conversation for you guys. Yeah, I have a question. Um, would you say that doing trial run, it's how you get free leads. You don't have to pay for it when you first started. Uh, this is what most people should lean, should lean towards, you know, to get your word out there and have uh, your friends and family support your business by posting online instead of try to recruit your friends. Uh, is that something you want to push to new agents instead of them try to run and do trial run and their page don't look apart? Is that what you would have pushed and, and, and tell everybody you brand new, get started. This is what you need to focus on. Absolutely. Unequivocally. Yes. Like, you know, some of your friends and family, let's be honest, they might not be the best recruiter. They don't, they've never done business. They've never been a sales manager. They've never ran a business. So that might not be the best recruit, but they might be the best supporter. And when you say support, that doesn't mean someone have to join to support you. They can support you in many other ways by just putting up a flyer and tagging 50 of their friends and leading you to the person who you really want to talk to in the business. If they want to join, so be it. If they don't, it doesn't matter. They did what you wanted them to do, which was share your post. That doesn't mean to share the flyer. You give them the wording, they put it up, and they tag 50 of their friends to it. Here's another conversation. All I said was good morning, and shout out to you, Destiny, right? I wasn't really trying to recruit her either. I was just having a general conversation. You look like a boss. If you don't mind me asking, what is it that you do? I've learned this from Big Al. If you want more people to ask you what you do, maybe you should go around and ask more people what they do. Compliment them. Lead with a compliment. And she works for the United Health Department. Shout out to you, Destiny. And um, she asked me what I do. I would have never told her what I do unless she asked me what I do. And I just told her, you know how most people live paycheck to paycheck? What I do is I show people how to make an extra paycheck. And I said that. And then she said, how is that? And then I got her to a video. And I said, just let me know if you're interested. That was it. Never forced her and didn't say, I need you to recruit you. I didn't tell her to comp I said, watch this video. Let me know if you're interested. And it was a short video, which you guys know, which is a nine-minute video. And that was it. We were done. And then she came back, wow, I'm a little skeptical. And, you know, we started talking more and, you know, going back and, Hopefully this is not a scam. And then I had to show her credibility of, look, you know, I just had an event. We were just, you know, we have agents all over. And just, I just had a normal conversation, normal conversation. So um, you guys can find, if you want to, you know, find better people, you can just type in right here, pastors, pastors. I want to I wanna, I wanna recruit more pastors. And you can type in pastors. And you click right here where it says people. And you can sit here and firm request all the pastors that are in the United States. And then when they add you, you can do this. I'm just showing you guys this for demonstration purposes. You don't have to steal this, this guy's friends. And then add their friends that you probably want to do business with. <laughs> and then see how she has 4,999 friends? Hmm, that's a person I would definitely say, hmm, you look sharp. If you don't mind me asking, what do you do? That's how I start conversations. She has 4,999 friends. She lives in my area. She look like she's about something. So I'm gonna compliment her and I'm gonna say, what is it you do? And have a normal conversation and see where it goes. That's it, that's how I do my business, right? I mean, you guys, there's no wrong or right way. I'm just showing you guys there's more than one way to skin a cat. So hopefully this was helpful. Thank you, Bertrand. You've always been a pleasure. <laughs> this was amazing. This was amazing. I don't want you to go yet. Um, I, got, I got one question for you. So um, I think I got the answer, but I want everybody else to hear it. So uh, what you do when you started, you're doing this business, you leverage your Facebook, right? So you clean up your Facebook. And what you do, you, do you remove uh, friends that don't look apart, that don't look like people you want in your oh, business, yeah. right? So and, this is... And then you add new people that look apart, um, that look like somebody you want to do business with. Then you don't go ahead and, and pull a script at them or keep posting about credit. You actually start conversation with them. And once you build a little report, they, they're going to ask you, uh, what do you do, right? By asking, asking them what they do. And this is where, when you have a chance to actually talk about your business. This is what I got from the training. So uh, is that something, is that the information that everybody should should you know 
collect from that from that training you just did right now absolutely and and i and i'm always looking for people with big networks 3000 friends 4000 friends if they look sharp look at my friend it took me a while to clean this shit up it was really messy i had a lot of people that i didn't want to be, and i had to really clean it up started adding people i go on those people who are sharp cuz birds of a feather the flock together eagles fly with eagles pigeons fly with pigeons so i'm looking for the eagles i'm looking for the people with big networks i'm looking for the people who have big influence i'm not trying to recruit them you know, the people who are not looking for me, I'm looking for the people who are actually looking for me, looking for this type of opportunity. So I'm just sitting here and I'm like, all right, like this kind of person, unfriend, right? What are you doing here? You taking up space, boom. And people are putting up nonsense, unfriend. And I'm adding people who has value, who have influence, that want more out of life, and that just see themselves doing big things. And I just said, you know what? That's the person I'd be great for my team. I can see that person leading an organization. I can see this person killing his business. Let me see what that person do. Let me see if this person is looking for an opportunity. And just going from there. So when they do ask me, I do ask, well, my response is, when they say, what is it you do? I say, well, you know how most people live paycheck to paycheck? I say, well, what I do is I show people how to earn an extra paycheck. That's it. And every time they say, well, how? Well, I don't have the time to talk about it right now, which I don't. I'm with my kids. What I can do is I'm going to send you something. Let me know if you're interested. That's it. Less is more. I don't explain anything. I let the video tell you to talk. And if you're interested, you're interested. If you're not, you're not. And I go on to the next person. And that's it. And I'm looking for people with big networks, complimenting them. Y'all making this recruiting thing so difficult. Like, oh, man, I have to have a big budget. I got to do sponsored ads. It's, it's hard recruiting cold people. It's easy recruiting people that like you and trust you. And the only way someone's going to like you if you have a genuine conversation with them. I'm done. All right. We're going to wrap it up tonight. Amazing training. Uh, I see somebody on, on the chat ask, do you pick and choose who you want to become a customer? Absolutely not. Okay. You just want to become a customer. I explain you the service. You can just get on the service and fix your credit. Cause you're not going to be doing the business. I don't have to mentor you throughout the whole process. Um, and amazing information. So Bruce is telling you guys before the, the gold Lamborghini, uh, before the brand new bands, before the condo, before the nice suits, right? The designer, he was actually building his business online by just adding the right people off Facebook and creating conversations. So now you don't have to say Bruce is crashing this business because he's at the top because he got all the money It's looking great now nah, this is not what this is okay you can build yourself up uh just like mr bruce rochester uh kill this training uh i hope that everybody took notes i hope that people are gonna get on facebook and start clean clean their facebook add new friends right and start new conversation again i see on the, on the chat somebody say uh do you use a script in the conversation nope this is a conversation you could use a <laughs> word from a script maybe a few words and then you you probably rearrange the words a little bit to make sense to the conversation but you do not use a script you just have a normal conversation it's like you're making a new friends okay all right so um we're gonna wrap it up right now amazing training uh we're gonna give it back to uh original sales director Everton Brian for killing this training. Show you guys how to run those ads. Uh, if you don't know wh wh what picture to use, or if your page is not ready yet to run ads, uh, I do not advise you to try to run any ads because you, you'll be wasting money because your page don't look apart. Uh, what you can do is do the try run. Get on Facebook, uh, even on Instagram, you can do the same because I did the same, right? Uh, just to piggyback before I end this call, uh, I had uh, Mr. Gene, that I got started in this company, I was on Instagram. I was I didn't know I bought ads. I was not running no ads. Okay, so I went on on a page a bit. Um, it was a Haitian page. I went on there, and I start looking at the comment section. Who make a comment and that look professional in the picture? So I see uh, Gene, which is my my business partner now. I, I click on it, got on his page, and I see he was traveling. He was posting about business. He, he looked like he was doing well for himself. And guess what I did? The same thing Bruce just talked about. I created a conversation. I was like, man, man, you're living your best life. You're traveling. And he answered right back to me. You know why? You know why we do, brother. 
you know how we do Haitian, whatever. And I told him, man, um, that's amazing, man. That's amazing. When I grow up, I want to be like you. So we're just cracking jokes. And then he said, hey, what do you do, man? And I told him, man, when you come back from business, I'm going to hit you up. When you come back from your trip, I'm going to hit you up. And we're going to have a sit down. I didn't even tell him nothing about my business, what I do. When he came back, I sat down with him at a Starbucks, showed him the business. I didn't pay for no ads. I did not know him, right? I showed him the business, right? Bring value, right? I see he was a guy that liked, liked to look, uh, look apart, look nice. And, um, and I invite him. When I invite him, I said, man, you see all the beautiful people here, man. Everybody's dressing nice, amazing ladies, amazing guys. Everybody's smelling good. And you see the presentation, he got started. I didn't know the guy. I met him online. Now he's the original sales director in this business. His business is doing over 25000 in revenue every 30, every 30 days. Uh, now he's killing the game. He's a full-time engineer, making a six-figure income outside of this company. Still got started. And right now, for the past, almost the past two months, he's been doing about $1,000 per week. <laughs> Would have thought. Mm -hmm. And I just started a conversation. I just replied to the comment, Adam and start a conversation. So even on Instagram, you can go ahead, follow some certain pages that have a lot of people commenting, just targets a few pages where it's probably someone that ha that's like a business person, like Grant Cardone or Les Brown or other people that's just talking about motivation and about a uh, business. And then you can go in the comment section, you can add a few people that's, that's, that's commenting something positive, start a conversation with them, right? And later on, trust me, they're going to tell you, what do you do? You just want to add them, maybe like a few pictures, okay. and it's going to happen. It's going to happen, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, just want to give it back to uh, original sales director, Gene, uh, in my organization. I got you, man. I recruit you from Instagram. <laughs> you bite. I got you. So, um, yeah, we're going to end it tonight, and we're going to give it back to uh, Mr. Bruce Lee Rochester for doing amazing training. Hope you guys got value from those, those training we're doing uh, every night, 9.30 p.m. And uh, just go out there. Call the actions. Uh, go out there. Crush it. Uh, Bruce, do you want to add something else uh, to, to tell the people to go out there and, and, and kill this game and, and, and go ahead and apply all the nuggets, everything that you taught them and everything Brian taught them tonight? Anything else you want to say? I think Bruce is not there. So, guys, uh, have a blessed night. Just go ahead and, and, and put some work in, and uh, let's make this happen. See you guys at the T-O-P, or the bank, just like Lakeisha, uh, Lakeisha said. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow at 9.30 p.m.